hello guys welcome back to my channel in this video we are going to learn about how to perform a Palo Alto uh, version upgrade from 8.2 10. if you are watching my channel very first time please don't forget to subscribe my channel so that uh, any new videos that I will post in the future it will get notified as a suggestion for you yeah here there is a major uh, uh, version upgrade is happening from 8.2 10 dot so in order to perform that uh, bigger migration we need to understand few things initially in order to perform the software upgrade please make sure to perform the dynamic updates as necessary based on your firewall um, licensed uh, I mean li licensed dynamic updates which is wildfire antivirus application and threads so on so forth so make sure to perform that as to the latest and upgrade that first in order for you to continue the app um, the actual software version upgrade so this is the recommended step which we would need to follow each and every time irrespective of uh, uh, major upgrade or minor upgrade so that is mandatory keep in mind i'm sure that uh, uh, that upgrade uh, will have default scheduled uh, already if not make sure that it is already done if if it is not done please make sure to happen that and next now you are uh, you have to perform the config backup so config backup um, from a snapshot wise and from and the saved snapshot should be exported uh, uh, for a safer location in in just in case if the firewall uh, is not uh, re recovering or rebooting after reboot it did not come well so that time you you can use that as a snapshot for your uh, um, your recovery purposes so make sure that you are doing a snapshot uh, configuration export as a snapshot um, and the configuration uh, version also so com com configuration version is nothing but uh, in your previous uh, commit install whatever the configuration was installed to the firewall it will be exported so those are the two elements you need to make sure to export for your safety purpose and then um, click on support to export the tech support file also so tech support file is not something is needed for your troubleshooting purposes but just in case if firewall is not coming back and uh, um, you do whatever uh, troubleshooting you from your side and uh, still it is not coming up then uh, you'll have to use that for uh, tag case raises and uh, the tag team will use that okay right now the 8.1.19 version is installed and before um, so this is the maintenance release on the current version make sure you install the maintenance release before you perform any uh, major upgrade major version upgrade so here we are jumping from 8.1 to 8. version to 9. Dot. henceforth make sure to complete the last available maintenance release which is here 8.1.19 and perform that as an upgrade uh, install and reboot the machine sorry meaning uh, the firewall that would eventually help to approach the major version upgrade easily so now that we have kick-started the um, the maintenance version patch upgrade so this is a small patch right we are in kicking that as an um, mandatory install so it's uh, it should be installed and uh, the device should uh, should be rebooted the device is going now for a reboot after the reboot uh, what we uh, what we can do we'll have to ensure that uh, that device is working properly and uh, are there any uh, operation is waiting on the firewall side that we can ensure uh, by logging into the firewall on the CLI mode so the re uh, reboot has completed of uh, logged into the firewall just type show jobs all that will ensure to provide whether any task is pending uh, or any task is in currently in progress for uh, installing uh, any any sort of updates so after this confirmation you can proceed to the next uh, step and you can also verify your version whether it has upgraded uh, on the device side using the command prompt 
okay that now the firewall has upgraded to 8.1.19 which is a maintenance release uh, after this we are going to perform uh, the major version upgrade which is 9.0.0 so before that we need to identify uh, look to see whether the cpu is pumping up or not if in case the cpu is bumping up please wait for some time uh, and uh, once the cpu has brought down to the normal go for upgrade which is 9.0.0 so we have kick started the app um, download uh, if just in case if a kick i mean the download did not work well you need to restart uh, the download meaning uh, kick start the download and the download once the download completes uh, ensure to um, install that um, after the install the, the system will ask you to do a reboot after the reboot it will come back uh, RAM, and we can ensure that the device is uh, running with 9.0.2 after the 9.0.2 the last maintenance release on the 9.0 would be 9.0.13 so make sure to complete that remember this is the key point each and every version there is a maintenance release and the, you should uh, target to complete the maintenance release every time you do next uh, version upgrade right so here we are dealt with the one uh, failed uh, it says we need a plugin and the plugin need to be installed in order for us to uh, uh, approach the maintenance release update so let's go to uh, the app um, i mean plugins to, uh, plugin section and try to identify uh, what are the available uh, per plugins for this version and you can also double check which plugin uh, for this model is needed to be installed so since this is a vm um, virtual machine parallel to firewall i'm going to uh, select the uh, i mean plugin which is uh, needed for over here so i had selected and uh, trying to install um, and you can very well cross verify these details with the tag or also on the website uh, in Palo Alto side and try to install that because it is a ma mandatory item in order for us to perform the 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 maintenance release in order to complete the 9.0.13 so plugin got installed and uh, it the system is now letting us to install the maintenance release also after the install the device will go for a reboot and um, uh, after it comes back we can log in back to the uh, console yeah we are able to log into the firewall and we can ensure the firewall is um, upgraded with the 9.0.13 so that's the uh, step we are currently on in this uh, stage um, we can ensure again the cpu and memory of uh, firewall if that is doing well and good we should be good to move, move further yes the software version is 9.0.13 um, so we can straight away go to the next step in our case or if if you want to verify your uh, traffic pattern by law, law i mean going into the monitor section and uh, verifying the uh, uh, the traffic logs or system logs so now the system is uh, asking us to perform uh, the another plugin which is supposed to be performed for this particular model the uh, after the report we are performing that uh, plugin upgrade also so after this upgrade what we uh, what we can do we can go for a next major version upgrade so i am um, it is not necessary to perform uh, the reboot after every plugin upgrade so plugin is just kind of a um, what do you say but it's a hot fix for a software so that hot fix uh, um, treated to be a dependency for any specific version to support the elements support the elements means uh, it could be hardware or could be software so it needed if it is needed yes it need to be installed without that is compl uh, not completed you cannot be able to continue our upgrade so please make sure what version i mean irrespective of software version if you are uh, having the uh, i mean different model of uh, palo alto firewall version 
either it could be virtual or uh, physical make sure to cross verify this uh, plugin details in the uh, Palo Alto website or uh, you can also double check with uh, the tag engineer also so after the I mean the system is now asking for a reboot after the hotfix so uh, let's not uh, uh, skip that and uh, let's perform the upgrade so that uh, we will be in a safer position for each and every step of upgrade okay the reboot has completed and the system is coming back uh, once the firewall uh, we are able to log into the firewall we will focus to perform the next upgrade which is um, uh, 9.1.10 that's the hotfix I mean maintenance release in 9.1 version after this we'll wait for uh, the system to reboot and come back um, so next we will go for a major upgrade which is 10.0 download and install after this um, so the similar process so what you have to follow for each and every release before you perform any major upgrade follow to complete the maintenance release uh, on the existing version that will help to perform the next version major upgradation major version upgrade so after this 10.0.0 we are going to target to complete 10.0.6 that is our um, um, latest version that we wanted to target for this um, um, upgrade as we have started our uh, uh, upgrade path from 8.1.0 version to 10.0.6 so that is the upgrade path we have followed so just in case if you unsure or not able to understand the upgrade path I will make sure to provide the um, information I mean upgrade path information um, in an easy way format in the description and also uh, I will provide the link uh, on the Palo Alto side where you can double verify all these details uh, as in a uh, very detailed format in the website so that will help you to perform your upgrade easily uh, i hope uh, the steps that we have gone through uh, in the last 12 minutes uh, should be helpful for you to approach any sort of upgrade that uh, that you wanted to deal with the Palo Alto firewall uh, from any version so this would eventually help you to understand uh, for your uh, future uh, future upgrade planning also okay the system is installed with the 10.0.6 and uh, the system is now rebooting after the reboot the same step it has some uh, new uh, i mean uh, gui uh, interface um, we will uh, log into the firewall to see whether uh, are there any uh, features are newly introduced or any sort of uh, um, I mean graphical user interface changes has happened let's log into the firewall and verify a few things uh, in order for us to ensure uh, we are do all doing good so this this is the last stage we are on on this stage we are going to ensure the firewall is upgraded to 10.0.6 version and the system is doing good with the CPU and memory um, and from a traffic pattern side uh, uh, on the system logs as well as uh, on the monitor traffic logs we are uh, ensuring uh, we need to ensure that, that the traffic is working just fine so that will ensure as to um, uh, complete the whole activity as in successful uh, uh, completion for us okay uh, looks like uh, some uh, new features has been implemented I mean introduced on this version um, telemetry data collection so this is something is not uh, I'm going to enable now I'm going to click this as in remind me later so the system is upgraded as you can see 10.0.6 that's the version uh, that we wanted to target and it is already upgraded um, we can also mention I mean double check uh, uh, the pending tasks on the firewall if if in case uh, anything from a dynamic update side or uh, the configuration uh, that something you have changed uh, after the fact you logged into the firewall is committed and completed so in that way we can ensure all is completed from our side so I think uh, the session that we went through for the last 14 minutes uh, is 
useful for you um, if you have any questions uh, don't hesitate to uh, put it in the comments I will be able to answer for you and don't forget to subscribe my channel uh, in that way for any future uh, videos I make you'll be get notified Thank you friends, we'll catch up in the next video.